All right, so I'm just following along the uh, manual that prepares us to get uh, certified in um, as a Microsoft Office user specialist in Word. And uh, they want to address the clipboard a little bit more. So we talked about copying and pasting uh, earlier. So we're just going to revisit it shortly. Now, when you, when you copy something, anything, it automatically goes to a place called the clipboard, right? So when, if I hit copy here, it's automatically on the clipboard. Now, if you want to see the clipboard, um, you simply click right here and it'll show you the actual clipboard. So right now it's only got one thing on it. So that's how you're able to see and view your clipboard. Now there are options here, all right? Uh, you can have it show up automatically every time you copy and paste. Now, um, I don't find that to be particularly useful. Uh, I think they tried it in one of the versions and it wasn't really popular, so they got rid of it. If you need to copy and paste a whole bunch of things from one area of your document to another. I would turn it on and leave it on, and it allows you to copy several times at the same time, several things at the same time. It'll load up up to 24 items. If you try to add a 25th, it'll delete the 20, the first one. So um, you can turn it on <clears throat> if you have a big job to do. You can have it turn on automatically. If you want it to turn on with a special shortcut, which is Control C press twice, you can do that, right? Uh, typically, um, it's it's collecting without showing the office clipboard. So that's the default setting, so to speak. Um, now, we've copied, and now if I want to copy other things here, because I've got it on, I can now collect, I can now add things to it. So if I know I'm going to copy and paste a bunch of stuff, I can copy this as well, and it's been added, right? So it'll just keep adding things to this. And depending on the job you're doing, I've rarely used this feature. However, every once in a while, it might be exactly what you need. So now I'm going to go to the bottom of my document and I can start by simply clicking these, inserting whatever it is I want. And if I want to start here again, I can click start here again. And why it gave me two, I don't really know. I'll get rid of one of them. And then I'll hit the first decision and that's in. And now I can do this one. So you see that I'm able to paste right from the clipboard uh, as often as I want and whenever I want. So that's how the clipboard uh, feature kind of works. The, uh, I, I can also right click on this and either delete it from the clipboard or use paste, which is the same thing as regular clicking really. Um, and when you write it, when you're done with them, you can just clear them all, just get rid of all of them. And if you want to close your clipboard, you can just close your clipboard like this. A little more advanced is the ability to uh, paste things from other places. And um, just to give you an example, uh, Microsoft Office has this other little program called Excel. You might have heard of it. So if you've got something in Excel and you want to bring it in, let's say, I, so now I've copied this, all right? I've copied this, this uh, uh, area from an Excel spreadsheet. And if I bring it into Word now, when I go to paste, I wouldn't just do a straight paste. I have options. So I would go to paste special here. And one of the things I can use is just say, give me the format of text. So I only want it to be to look like regular text. So I'm going to go uh, in here. So it'll come in as a table, really. All right. So it's a table. It's got all the information I wanted. Looks good. All right. That's one of my options. Another option that I have is I can bring it in as an actual spreadsheet so it'll be an excel spreadsheet within my word document so if i double click on this you'll notice that all the powers of excel are now at my disposal so it's an excel area within my word sheet very powerful tool the ability to do that is, is awesome so when i click out it looks like a picture but if i double click i can actually work within it as it were an excel option uh, object i'm just going to undo that and my other option even more powerful, I think, is the ability to bring it in as, Excel, as the Excel spreadsheet, but link it to the original. So any changes that occurs to the original will automatically show up in this Word file. We can do the same thing within PowerPoint. We can copy and paste things from Word to PowerPoint, um, from Excel to PowerPoint. So that's where the, the, the Microsoft Office suite uh, abilities really come in. And I'd want to size this and move it, of course, but that's I think we covered that kind of stuff in another lesson, but I just wanted to talk about some of your pasting options, which are very, very powerful. The word append means, uh, from what I, I can understand, add something to the end of the document. So 
uh, if you're asked to append a document, first thing you need to do is go to the end of your document. Now, rather than scroll down, you can hit Control End on your keyboard, and that will automatically bring you to the very bottom of your document. And from here, actually from anywhere, I can insert an entire document in any part of a Word document, right? So any Word document inside a document. Um, so you would simply go to Insert here, and then I believe you would go to Object, and go to Object again, and then you'd simply find the file that you want to insert in there. Now, it's, of course, it's going to bring in the entire file. So if it's a Word document, it would bring in an entire Word document. There we go. Text from file is what I wanted. And uh, let's say I like the text that's in this file. I know that that's what I want. And there it is, all the text from that file. Of course, you'd be able to open that file and copy and paste. There are several ways of achieving the same thing sometimes. But that's a quick, easy way to what we call append a document.